So the advantages here basically is that the 50% increase in life has resulted in about 33% less waste cars less waste cartridges being generated, which obviously has some positive environmental advantages. This essentially was the second generation of photoceptor materials and devices that we discussed today, and now we're working on the next generation. So now that we've got close to a million prints, how do we go to our ultimate goal, which is to make these components life of the machine? And for that, we're leveraging our expertise uh, done now in smart materials design, but also nanotechnology. And the question is, nanotechnology is very neat, is very powerful because it can allow us to design molecules that can do very interesting things. And one of the things we're pursuing is, for example, self-healing. We're calling it self-responsive, self-repair. Just like, for example, when you scratch your hand and you heal, that's a biological process, we're looking at how do we do that analogy in photoceptors? How do we use smart materials design? How do we use nanotechnology to give us this life of machine components that can repair themselves so that any damage is oblivious to the rest of the systems? So basically, this is part of our continuing innovation on how to better meet customer requirements in the long run, especially with long-life components.